Welcome to Equations Involving Fractions. So we're going to use some of the uh, steps that um, we used when we did algebraic fractions. So we're going to create a common denominator, and then we're going to write out, once you've got your common denominator, you're going to write out only the numerators with the equal sign in place, and then you will solve the equation. So we're going to use our strength of common denominators to go and solve these uh, difficult fraction um, equations. So here's our two, uh, two examples that we're going to have a look at. So the first one is x plus 2 over 3 equals x minus 2 over 2. And the second one is x plus 1 over 4 plus 5 equals x over 6 plus 2. So hopefully you're already thinking of common denominators for both of those. So the first one, the common denominator is 6. So 3 and 2 go into 6. So that means I need to times the first fraction by 2 on the bottom, and then I double the top as well. For the second, uh, for the second one, it's over 6, so I need to triple the bottom, so I triple the top as well. Note that once I've got my denominators the same, so once they're both over 6, I just let the tops, the numerators, equal each other and put the equal sign in its place. Now I can solve normally, expand the brackets, and I get 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 6. Subtract 2x from both sides, and I get 4 equals x minus 6. Add the 6, and we get x equals 10. So let's have a look at when we've got ones that don't have fractions. And what we're going to do in these cases is we're going to just make them into a fraction so that we can get the common denominators. So the 5, we're going to put over 1, and the 2, we're going to put over 1. Now, no matter what is there, if it's not a fraction, just make it into a fraction by putting it over to one, over the 1. Common denominator is 12. That's the lowest common denominator. 4 goes into 12 three times, so I multiply the top by 3. With the 5 over 1, 1 goes into 12 12 times, so I times the 5 by 12 on top, and I get 60 over 12. Then I've got the equal sign. Then I've got over 6, so I double the bottom and double the top, so I get 2x over 12. And then again, we're over 1, so I need to times the bottom by 12, so I times the top by 12, and I get 24 over 12. Now I've got all my denominators common. So now I just let the numerators equal each other. So 3 outside of x plus 1 plus 60 equals 2x plus 24. Expand the brackets. 3x plus 3 plus 60 equals 2x plus 24. Then we collect like terms. So 3x plus 63 equals to 2x plus 24. Minus the 2x from both sides, so I get x plus 63 equals 24. And then finally, minus 63 from both sides to get me x equals minus 39. Thank you.